Right. Well, I'm annoyed. And the reason I'm annoyed is I just took something back to Sainsbury's there that was incorrectly boxed. Someone put the wrong thing in the wrong box. Uh, but I'm annoyed because I wear an open face helmet. And I'm really, one of the reasons I wear one of those is because I've got two microphones here, one for my telephone and one to talk, talk to the camera. So that's two wires that go to my body, plus the camera, that's three wires that go to my body. So in order to take the helmet off, is isn't a quick job, it's a pain in the arse. Now, the security guard said we have a store policy, no, no helmets. And I said, well, yeah, I'm wearing an open face helmet. They said, sorry, mate, it's store policy. Fair enough, he's doing his job. I ain't got a problem with that. What I'm annoyed about is there's a Muslim woman following me in the store, you know, and she's wearing the old hajib, the old letterbox, you know, the, the, all you can see is her eyes. Not even a nose, not even a mouth, just her eyes. And I said, hold on a minute, mate. I said, you're going to let her in? He says, yeah. He says, that's different, isn't it? I said, why is it different? Why do you have this policy of helmets? He said, well, we need to see people's faces. I'm like, all right, you can see my face, open face it's open face helmet. And he's like, no, no, no. And I said, well, you can't see her face. He said, well, it's different, isn't it? I said, well, why is it different? How do you know there's not some fella under there who's about to rob the place? So, I can understand the, the, the policy on helmets, no problem with that. Yeah, you know, lots of places, lots of banks get robbed, people wearing helmets. But I've st I, everywhere I go, I've, I've only had a problem twice. Once was in Toys R Us, and I just walked out of the store, I refused to shop there. They, they lost a lot of money, because I was going to spend a lot of money. And that's the second time I've been pulled up. And to be honest, I think the fella's been a jobs with. Because I don't believe there's any need for that. Not in an open face helmet. I mean, you know, they let, uh, they let people in the store wearing a hood. What's the difference? You can see, you can see their face, you can see my face. They let people in the store wearing a baseball cap. All right, that's a little bit different. You, can, you can't see the sides of my face. Of uh, my head, sorry. You can see my face. So there's my rant for the day. I won't be shopping there anymore if they do that. I mean, I, if I would have walked out on principle, but the fact is I'm taking something back to get changed. So I can't just walk out. But if I'd have had a shopping full of trolley, I'd have just, I would have just walked out. What it is, he's one of them security guards, you know, he likes a little bit of power, likes to tell people what to do. Anyway, I'll stop moaning in a minute. Not mine, but I'm stood there in the store, sweating me nads off. It's a hot day. So there you go. Sainsbury's PLC, you have lost my business. And why do Muslim women get away with that? Why, because of their religion, should they be any different to anyone else? You know, I'm sure if I'd have stood there and said to him, I was, well, it's my religion, I wear a helmet for my religion, he's going to turn around and tell me to bugger off, isn't he? And there's been proven cases of these suicide bombers in uh, Iraq or Pakistan or uh, wherever it is out there, I can't exactly remember the place, but there's fellas dressed up as the Muslim women in the old hajib and then uh, underneath all that they've got the suicide vest on and off they go it won't be long before they're doing that over here I tell you and they won't change the policy because well I suppose in fairness there's more Muslim women than there are people moaning about motorcycle helmets but I won't be annoyed if, it, like I say, it weren't for the fact that I've got to undo all these bleeding wires and get half undressed in the middle of the store. And then what? I'm supposed to carry a helmet around with me? You know, I, I've got to carry shopping. I can't. It's the main motivation of buying the old flip-top helmet. Because you go to a petrol station, they actually take it off. Well, this, like I say, only twice, two occasions I've been pulled up. In fact, it was funny in, uh, in Toys R Us. It was, uh, it was in winter, and the fellow asked me to take my helmet off, 
and underneath I had a uh, balaclava on because it was so cold. And of course, similar to the helmet, I mean I had that pulled down under my chin so you didn't know, but similar to my helmet, uh, you can only see your face. So I took my helmet off and I walked around the store in a balaclava for a few minutes. Then they called to me again and says, can you take that off as well? <laughs> so Trim, do we take our outs off? Do we walk around naked? Honestly. But no, in the end I walked out. Jobsless. Anyway, I've been moaning for 10 minutes, I'm going to shut up now. Fucking hell, mate. Simmer down, will you? Now, whatever your name is, ready for the big surprise.